hello friends i hope you are doing well in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to calculate the mortgage repayment or how to calculate the monthly house loan repayment and also how to calculate the interest principal and residual based on each month so if you want to learn completely about this lesson please watch this video till the end so uh, here we want to open the next sheet and what we need is the price of the house price of the house and here we need annual interest rate and here uh, we need monthly interest rate and after that we have the loan duration then uh, we have the number of payment number of payments this is based on this is based on the year this is based on the month sorry number of payment and loan duration is based on year so i will write inside the bracket year because uh, later i should not get confused and after that we uh, we have we want to write the installment or monthly payment so i will write monthly payment <clears throat> So for the price of the house, for example, I, I write oh, 1 million 500,000, 1 million 500,000. So if you want to include the currency, also you go to uh, from here to currency. Okay, if you want to change uh, the currency, uh, you go from here, more number formats, and from here you choose the your desired currency. Uh, for this lesson, for example, I will choose the Indian currency. So you go and select the Hindi, then OK. As you can see that the currency has changed to Indian currency. Then annual interest rate, for example, if I take loan from a bank, if the interest rate is 7% uh, for one year, so from here you select the percent seven percent then monthly interest rate in order to calculate the monthly interest rate you divide the annual interest rate into <clears throat> uh, 12 then it will become the monthly interest rate then loan duration how long in how many years i want to pay this loan loan if i pay this loan in seven years i will write here seven number of payment and how many months I want to pay this uh, loan so for that purpose I will multiply seven years into 12 because uh, in one year there are 12 months and from here uh, I can calculate the monthly payment for that purpose I have to use financial function so for that reason uh, you, you click here then uh, from here you select the financial and among all this formula you bring the pmt because we want to uh, we want to calculate the payment per month rate you select the uh, interest rate on monthly basis because we want to pay monthly number of payment uh, you select the 84 and uh, present value PV stands for present value. Uh, the price of the house is uh, 1,500,000. You select this one. And for future value and type, we don't need to add any value. And one thing you have to remember that this calculation is based on a constant payment and a constant interest rate. So there is not flexible interest rate and there is not a uh, flexible payment. So you, sel you select the OK. Then each month we have to pay around 22,639. If you want to uh, 
bring again the uh, currency value you just uh, click here and format painter you select the format painter and paste the format so uh, here is the number is given and minus because this is a cash outflow then if you want to change this minus value into positive then you have to uh, put one minus after the equal now you can see that uh, the value is in a positive number <clears throat> now in this step we want to uh, calculate the details about the interest and principal payment and also the residual value for each month so uh, for that purpose first of all you have to write the uh, period period then you calculate the installment installment how much money we want to pay each month then after that interest from that installment how much is the interest and also the principal then lastly the residual value residual value uh, in periods in how many months we want to pay the loan in 84 months so i will write the numbers from uh, 1 to 84 okay i will select one and two and up to 84 i write the number 84 because we we want to pay all the loan in 84 months then after the installment each month how much money we want to pay of course 22,639 so you copy and uh, go to paste special and paste it as a value okay now control c and control v because we want to pay the same amount of money each month so i will uh, copy and paste to the uh, other cell also so what you can do is double click in this dot at the right corner it will automatically copy and paste till the end then the interest how to calculate the interest you write equal so uh, for then you select the price of the house into the interest rate on monthly basis so each month uh, we pay 8750 as an interest then principal equal principal is equal to installment minus interest rate because if you calculate based on the financial formula installment is equal to interest plus principal so whenever we want to calculate the principal from installment we again minus the interest from installment we minus the interest then residual value if from one lakh uh, one million five hundred thousand we pay uh, this much amount of money around thirty thousand how much amount of money will remain so equal from uh, one million five hundred we minus the principal amount it will give this amount of money so for the next row again uh, how to calculate the interest equal monthly interest rate this time i lock the cell if you press the f4 uh, button it will lock the cell then into the residual value this time we because only this amount of money we have as a loan so we will multiply it into residual value okay this time we want to pay 8669 which is lesser than previous month because the residual value this time is less than uh, the first loan amount then how to calculate the principal amount from the installment you minus the interest 
okay and uh, uh, residual value again if from uh, the previous residual value you minus the principal of this month it will give you the residual value then you uh, select then you select this two line this row and uh, decrease the decimal places into zero then if you double click in this corner it will automatically copy and paste the formula until the last row so i will double click here as you can see that the formula is copied and when it comes to the last uh, uh, payment last period the principal is equal to zero because we pay at this time all the amount of loan so now you are free to bring some changes into the title or a header of the table and you can add some more style for example i will select this uh, the title and increase the font size then i will change the font to arial or then uh, i can select the background color and uh, also the font from here you can increase or decrease the uh, the size of the column and you can here add the title i will write details for details for interest and principal of each month and here also you can bring some changes okay you increase the font size and the same thing you can uh, do here and you also you can uh, <coughs> change the color of this area also you will select a very uh, good color according to your wish okay now it's done now if you want to remove the grid line it will give you a very good format and a very good style okay thank you for watching if you think that my videos are helpful and you can learn something from this video please subscribe my channel and write your comment in the comment section of the video thank you for watching have a nice time